بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از شاکر شہزاد ایم سرونگ ایز اے لیکچرر ان انگلش ایٹ گورنمنٹ پیر یقوب شاہ ڈگری کالج پھالیا بفور بینگ اپوائنٹیڈ ایز لیکچرر آئی ہیو بین سرونگ ایز سبجیکٹ اسپیشلسٹ انگلش ایس ایس انگلش تھری ٹائمس آئی ہیو پاس دا پی پی ایس ریٹرن ٹیسٹ اینڈ ٹو ٹائمس دا انٹرویو ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ I passed PPSA written test for lecture of English but I couldn't get through the interview. In 2016, I was selected as SS English through PPSA written test and interview. And in 2018 again, I was appointed as lecturer in English through Punjab Public Service Commission. The Punjab Public Service Commission is a government agency that conducts tests, examinations and interviews for recruitment. It is responsible for selecting and recommending suitable candidates through a merit-based, transparent and expeditious process to promote excellence, professionalism and competence in the Punjab public service and render advice to government. This lecture provides an introduction to PPSC exam for the post of lecturer in English. This exam is divided into two parts, written test and interview. In this lecture, we will only discuss about the eligibility criteria, written test syllabus and pattern. A number of aspirants inquire about the qualification for the post of lecturer in English, written test syllabus and pattern and the way how to prepare for the test. So let's begin with the qualification. The candidates applying for the post of lecturer in English have to meet the qualification criteria set out by Punjab Public Service Commission. The candidate should have a master's degree in the respective field or subject or an equivalent qualification. The minimum grade to be eligible for the post is second. The candidates having third division and a diploma in English from Allama Iqbal Open University are also eligible for the application. B.A.D. or M.A.D. is not required for the post of lecturer in English. Age limit applies to the candidates applying for the post of lecturer. The candidates who do not meet the age limit are not eligible for applying for the PPSC lecturer job exam. The male candidates having age from 21 to 28 are eligible to apply. There is a general relaxation of five years in the age limit of a male. Thus, the maximum age for male candidates to be eligible to apply is 33 years. The female candidates having age from 21 to 28 are eligible to apply. There is a general relaxation of eight years in the age limit of a female. Thus, the maximum age for female candidates to be eligible to apply is 36 years. The candidates can only be eligible to apply for PPSC jobs as long as they are permanent residents of the province of Punjab. Now, let's have a look at the paper pattern. The test type for the post of lecturer in English is written. This written test is an MCQ based test. Having 100 MCQs, this test is of 100 marks. The time given to attempt the test is 2 hours. The candidates often inquire about the negative marking. They should note that 0.25 marks shall be deducted for each wrong answer. So be careful while taking the option. 80% portion of the test is based on the subject or related qualification that is MA in English. In this portion, the candidates are tested for the comprehension of their subject. 20% portion of the test includes general ability MCQs so that the general ability of the candidates may be assessed. Let's learn about the sources for subject-based MCQs that form 80% portion of the test. The candidates often ask about the syllabus of the written test for the post of lecturer in English. 
it is very important to know about the syllabus because it guides you about what to study and how to prepare for the exam it is important to know that PPSC lecturer paper encompasses the syllabus of all the universities located in Punjab for example University of the Punjab GCU Lahore University of Gujarat University of Sargodha etc the sources for the subject based MCQs include history of English literature English poetry English drama English novel that is prose fiction English prose are non-fiction prose including essays and literary criticism general linguistics English language teaching ELT in English literary terms idioms synonyms and antonym history of English literature is very important as almost 8 to 10 MCQs are taken from it and it presents a clear picture of the ages writers and their works in the context to prepare history of English literature you should study Old English or Anglo-Saxon period Middle English period or Dark Ages or Medieval period the Renaissance or Elizabethan age or Shakespearean age it is also known as Golden Age because of its great writers the neoclassical period this time period is broken down into three parts the restoration period the Augustan period and the age of Johnson the romantic period the Victorian period the Edwardian period the Georgian period the modern period and the postmodern period in order to secure good marks the candidates should have a clear outline of these ages and their respective writers in their mind in the second place you should prepare English poetry means you should study the biographical information of the poets and their works included in the syllabus of all the universities located in Punjab for example you should study the biography of Geoffrey Chaucer and his prologue to the Canterbury Tales Edmund Spencer's Fairy Queen book 1 John Donne's Love and Divine Poems Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock Absalom and Achitophel by John Dryden John Milton's Paradise Lost book 1 and 9 The Prelude 1805 edition by William Wordsworth Hyperion book 1 and important odes of John Keats P.B. Shelley's Adonis and Ode to the West Wind S.T. Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner Kubla Khan and Ode on Diction T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland and the Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock W.B. Yeats' The Second Coming Adam's Curse The Wild Swan at Cool and Byzantium Sylvia Plath's Ariel, Morning Song, Poppies in October, The Bee Meeting, and The Bee Box. Plath's biography is very important. Robert Frost's The Road Not Taken, Birches, Fire and Ice, Mending Wall, and Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Robert Browning's Selected Poems, edited by Daniel Curlin. Important Poems of White and Surrey. William Blake's Songs of Innocence and of Experience, Philip Larkin's Mr. Blaney, Church Going, Ambulances, 1914, Seamus Heaney's Personal Halicon, The Tall and Man, A Constable Calls, Tomb Road, Casting and Gathering, Ted Hughes, The, the Thought Fox, Chaucer, That Morning, Full Moon and Little, Freda, these are the important poets and their works included in the syllabus of the universities located in Punjab. Then you should prepare English drama, means you should study those dramatists and their works that are included in the syllabus of all the universities located in Punjab. For example, 
you should prepare Oedipus Rex by Sophocles, Dr. Faustus and the Jew of Malta by Christopher Marlowe. Shakespeare is very important. In the last PPS exam for the post of English lecturer, almost 12 questions were taken from Shakespeare's plays. So you should study William Shakespeare's Hamlet, The Merchant of Venice, Twelfth Night, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth, As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, and Winter's Tale. Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, Had a Gabbler and the Wild Duck by Henry Gibson, The Cherry Orchard by Anton Chekhov, The Caretaker by Harold Pinter, The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, Morning Becomes Electra by O'Neill, The Sea by Edward Bond, Galileo by Bertolt Brecht, Pygmalion by G. B. Shah, The Way of the World by William Congreve, Death of a Salesman and The Crucible by Arthur Miller, and The School for Scandal by Richard Brinsley Sheridan. You are suggested not to read the text of all these plays. Just read out the characters and the summaries from the websites Spark Notes, Grade Saver, and Cliff Notes, and attempt the online quiz test. In addition to this, you should also study the types of dramas. That would be enough for the preparation of PPSC test. After this, you should prepare English novelists and their novels included in the syllabus of all the universities located in Punjab. Here is given the list of important novels you should study for the PPSC test. Emma and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Adam Bede by George Eliot, The Return of the Native, Tess of the Deoberwills, and Under the Greenwood Tree by Thomas Hardy, A Tale of Two Cities, Hard Times, The Pickwick Papers, and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Lord of the Flies by William Golding, A Passage to India by E. M. Foster, To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, Things Fall Apart by H. B., Animal Form and 1984 by George Orwell, Twilight in Delhi by Ahmed Ali, Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, Burchester Towers by Anthony Trollope, Joseph Andrews and Tom Jones by Henry Fielding, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce, Jazz by Toni Morrison, For Home the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. Again, you need not to read out the text of these novels, just study the characters of these novels and their summaries from the websites Spark Notes, Great Saver, and Cliff Notes, and attempt the online quiz test. In addition to this, you should also study the types of novels. That would be enough for you for the preparation. The next source for subject based MCQs is English prose, that is, non fiction prose, which includes essays and literary criticism. In this context, you should prepare important prose writers and their works included in the syllabus of all the universities located in Punjab. For example, you should prepare Essays of Alia by Charles Lamb, Essays of Sir Francis Bacon, Unpopular Essays by Burton Russell, The Crown of Wild Olive by John Ruskin, Important Essays of Lytton Strachey, Important Essays of Huxley, in the context to prepare literary criticism, you should study Aristotle's Poetics, Raymond Williams' Modern Tragedy, Catherine Belsey's Critical Practice, T.S. Eliot's Tradition and Individual Talent, Milton I and Milton II, Edward Said's Introduction to Culture and Imperialism, Seamus Heaney's The Redress of Poetry, Sir Philip Sidney's An Apology for Poetry, and On the Sublime by Lon Jinus. While preparing this portion, try to focus on the doctrines, ideas, and philosophies of these prose writers they expound in their writings. 
in addition also read important quotes of these writers apart from english literature you should prepare general linguistics it is the course of general linguistics and not the specific linguistics general linguistics is the study of phenomena history and functions of language without restriction to a particular language or aspect in order to prepare general linguistics you should study introduction to language introduction to linguistics comparative linguistics micro levels of linguistics including phonetics phonology morphology semantics and pragmatics and macro levels of linguistics including psycholinguistics sociolinguistics philosophical linguistics neurolinguistics and stylistics you need not to go in details just go through these topics of general linguistics sources for subject based mcqs also include elt english language teaching this course includes english teaching methods and approaches for example grammar translation method direct method audio lingual method the silent way suggestopedia reading approach communicative approach community language learning functional notional approach natural approach total physical response you need not to go into the details just have the basic concepts of these methods and approaches to elt moreover the candidates should also prepare literary terms to secure good marks in the ppsc test literary terms refer to the technique style and formatting used by writers and speakers to masterfully emphasize embellish or strengthen their compositions important literary terms are allegory alliteration allusion ambiguity analogy antagonist apostrophe assonance ballad cacophony catalog character characterization climax conceit conflict connotation consonance convention denotation dinoma diction enjambment epigram epigraph epitaph euphony exposition fable falling action figurative language flashback foil foreshadowing hamashia hyperbole irony verbal irony situational irony dramatic irony metaphor metonymy mood motif narrator first person third person onomatopoeia oxymoron paradox parallelism parody personification plot protagonist pun rhyme scheme rising action satire setting simile soliloquy stream of consciousness style suspense syllogism symbol synecdoche syntax theme tone and understatement furthermore idioms are also the part of your subject based qualification so you should revise the idioms you have learned during your academic career an idiom is a common word or phrase which means something different from its literal meaning but can be understood because of their popular use an example is given for your practice if you have finger in the pie you are dash in something involved disinterested puzzled worried so the right option is involved if you have finger in the pie you are involved in something synonyms and antonyms are also included in your subject field a synonym is a word morpheme or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word morpheme or phrase in the same language for example the words begin start commence and initiate are all synonyms of one another an antonym is a word opposite in meaning to another for example bad and good are antonyms of each other so that is all about the sources for the subject based 80 mcqs now 
Let's turn to the sources for general liability MCQs that form 20% of the PPSC lectureship test. It is observed that most of the candidates skip this portion during their preparation and try only to guess the right answer while sitting in the exam hall. This careless behavior often results in negative. So the candidates should prepare this 20% portion beforehand. It is very easy if you pay a little bit of your attention. General ability MCQs are included to assess an applicant's general reasoning ability. These MCQs measure learning capacity, observational skills and problem solving ability of the candidates. The general ability test tells whether a candidate has strong underlying mental capabilities or not. This is in contrast to achievement tests which are subject based and that assess a candidate's learned skills and knowledge. General ability test and achievement test complement each other and shed light on different aspects of a candidate's capabilities. When used together, they provide a good overall assessment of the quality of an applicant. General ability test, that is 20% of your PPSC lectureship test, includes nine modules. Number one, general knowledge. Number two, current affairs. Number three, park studies. Number four, geography. Number five, mathematics. Number six, English. Number seven, Urdu. Number eight, everyday science. And number nine, basic computer studies. So let's begin with the first module, general knowledge. General knowledge is information that has been accumulated over time through various mediums. It excludes specialized learning that can only be obtained with extensive training and information confined to a single medium. General knowledge is an essential component of crystallized intelligence. It is strongly associated with general intelligence and with openness to experience. Studies have found that people who are highly knowledgeable in a particular domain tend to be knowledgeable in many. An example is given for your practice. Which flower is the national flower of Pakistan? Jasmine, rose, sunflower, lily. So the right option is Jasmine. Jasmine is the national flower of Pakistan. The second module in the general ability test is current affairs. Current affairs are the events of political uh, or social interest and importance happening in the world at the present time. In other words, current affairs are political events and problems in society which are discussed in newspapers and on television and radio. For example, you may be asked who is the governor of State Bank of Pakistan or you may be asked who is DGISPR of Pakistan Army. The third module is Park Studies. Pakistan Studies encompasses the culture, demographics, history and politics of Pakistan. For example, you may be asked who was the first president of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan? Liaqat Ali Khan, Qaid Azam, Mulvi Tamizuddin, Sardar Abdur Rob Nishtar. So the right option is B. Qaid Azam. Qaid Azam was the first president of the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan. The fourth module of general ability is geography. Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environments. Geographers explore both the physical properties of Earth's surface and the human societies spread across it. For example, you may be asked in the paper, Gorak Hill Station is in district. Dadu, Mandi Bahauddin, Abbottabad, Skardu. So the right option is Dadu. Gorak Hill Station is in district Dadu. The fifth module is Mathematics. 
The mathematics is the overall group of sciences that study numbers, shapes and their relationships. An example of math is arithmetic, the study of addition, sub subtraction, multiplication and division. For example, you may be asked, 12 children take 16 days to complete a work which can be completed by 8 adults in 12 days. After working for 3 days, 16 adults left and 6 adults and 4 children joined them. How many days will they take to complete the remaining work? Number 1, 3 days, 2, 4 days, 3, 6 days or 8 days. So the right option, the right answer is 6 days. It will take 6 days to complete the remaining work. The sixth module of general ability is basic English. Apart from subject knowledge, basic English carries the weightage of almost five marks in the PPSC test. The basic English refers to sentence structure, tenses, vocabulary, narration, active voice and passive voice, and parts of speech including nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions and conjunctions. It includes basic knowledge about English language. For example, you may be asked, I am dash tired to walk. Option A, very tired. Option 2, much tired. Option 3, too tired. Option 4, not tired. So the right option is 2. I am too tired to walk. Next, uh, dash the age of eight he was very naughty in the age of eight on the age of eight at the age of eight or upon the age of eight so the right option is at the age of eight he was very naughty the seventh module of general ability is Urdu it includes basic knowledge about Urdu language and literature you may be asked in the paper Amrao Jan Ada is an Urdu novel by means who has written Amrao Jan Ada Mirza Hadi Ruswa Qudratullah Shahab Humaira Ahmed or Faiz so the right option is Mirza Hadi Ruswa Mirza Hadi Ruswa has written the Urdu novel Amrao Jan Ada or you may be asked what is the meaning of Zer Zabar Karna Zer Zabar Karne Ka Matlab Hai Kya Matlab Hai Ulat Pulat Karna Nicha Dikhana Nicha Ko Uncha Karna Ya Koi Nahi So the right option is Ulat Pulat Karna Zer Zabar Karne Ka Matlab Hai Ulat Pulat Karna The eighth module is Everyday Science Everyday Science principally refers to the scientific disciplines of physics, chemistry and biology as well as to their sub-disciplines. Everyday science leads to a better understanding of natural phenomena. So you should be acquainted with everyday science, what's going on in this field. So in the paper you may be asked, primarily plant gets nitrogen from soil, air, sunlight, other plants. So the right option is soil. And you may also be uh, question severe deficiency of vitamin D results in scurvy rickets night blindness none so the right option is B rickets severe deficiency of vitamin D results in rickets the ninth module for general ability is basic computer studies it refers to the basic knowledge of computer its parts and functions in the paper, you may be asked to identify the device through which data and instructions are entered into a computer, software, output device, input device, or memory. So the right option is input device. You may also be asked what is the short key to open the history box in web browsers. Shift plus H, Control plus H, Alt plus H, or F3. So the right option is control plus H. So that is all about the general ability portion that is 20% of your paper. 
So if you want to secure good marks in the area of general ability, you should also listen to the lectures of Mr. Kasim Zahir at Knowledge Point. Thank you for your attention. Stay blessed.